Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Uh, Come on up here. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chairman Zellner. Um, a little while ago, uh, my opponent, Lynn Dixon, called me to uh, congratulate me on uh, my victory, concede the election. I want to thank her for, for doing that. Uh, I also want to uh, introduce uh, some members of my family. My, my wife, Debbie, is this is, this is Debbie. Uh, she's here. My son, Matt, is representing uh, himself and uh, his, uh, his two brothers and his sisters, as well as the five Hardwick grandchildren and one great-grandson. So Matt has got all that on his, uh, on his shoulders. This campaign kicked off 297 days ago on January 10th, Sunday, uh, when I released a video online announcing my candidacy for Erie County Comptroller. That video was filmed a few days earlier in Niawanda Park at 11 a.m. in the morning on January 6th. After that, I went home to my house and I turned on the TV and I watched in horror, like so many Americans, at the insurrection, the assault on our Capitol in Washington, D.C. That same spirit of divisiveness that led to the assault, the attack on the United States Capitol for several years has found its home in the Erie County Comptroller's Office. Tonight, that spirit is no longer welcome in the Erie County Comptroller's Office. This campaign ended that. There are many to thank for this victory. 11 months ago, I made the second best decision of my life uh, when I asked Jessica Schuster over here to be my campaign manager. Of course, the first best decision in my life was 42 years ago. But Jessica put together a team, including folks that need to be thanked here tonight, people like Tim Callen, Eric Wyant, Rebecca Newberry, Susan Gregg, Jake Wagner, my friend uh, uh, Bernie Charity from Binghamton, who did a lot of our media, and of course Mark Odian of WNYmedia.net. We also had some legal help on this campaign, uh, pre-primary. Uh, the best election lawyers in this town, who may be able to find some work in the next uh, few weeks. We don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Jessica Culpit and Brittany Penberthy. Uh, together with others who helped this campaign, like several members of the Buffalo Common Council. Uh, Mitch Nowakowski is here, I believe, representing them someplace. <laughs> Mitch and I have, have developed a great friendship over the, uh, the last, uh, last few months, and I look forward to helping him uh, in his political career down the road. We also had help from our friends in organized labor, uh, led by uh, uh, Western New York Area Labor Federation uh, uh, President uh, Peter De Jesus, as well as the Unity Coalition in Buffalo, headed by the, by the legend, Champ Eve. Also grateful uh, to endorsements from Elfrida Slominski, uh, Tom DiNapoli, uh, uh, state controller and former Buffalo City controller, Andy Sanfilippo, and of course, Chairman Zellner, to you and everything that you have done for me and for our campaign and by extension for the people of Erie County, along with your team, folks like uh, Kat and Jake and Melissa and all the volunteers. They all together made this victory possible and helped the politics of hope triumph over the politics of fear. This will lead to the culture change, the culture change that I've talked about in the Comptroller's Office come January 1st. A change based on respect. Respect for the important work that's done in that office, respect for the people, the trained professionals who do that important work, and most importantly, the people of Erie County, regardless of race, religion, or political party. Thank you all. all right.